Wow, this is indeed a very telling sign that Harry and Meghan's Netflix deal might be ending soon because they did take a very subtle warning shot to the big streamer, and we gotta break it down. Welcome to Popcorn Plat. <laughs> I'm keeping it. Welcome to Popcorn Palace. I want to hear all la, 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 in the comments down below. Guys, look, it's been a crazy day. And I know you guys are here for my royal coverage. The reality is the algorithm keeps rewarding me over on planet. And I really want to bring it here so I can do it here. And then we can focus on other stuff that I want to talk about. But today's been bonkers, guys. And I want you to go check out those videos on planet just because they're going to inform you of some serious issues that are happening on this platform that affect us all, affect how we can report, affect the truth. And I'm just a little shook. I got to be honest. I'm still, I'm trying to move on. But guys, the last video I posted will tell you more about it. But just to summarize it quickly for you here, not to make you go watch things 10 times, but they have now limited my video where I called out Omid Scobie and calling out the queen, etc. And they've limited me out for hateful derogatory content. So basically, they're saying that we're offensive individuals or groups, harassing, yada, yada, yada. Uh, and they're saying there was inappropriate language, which there wasn't. I said the word cockroach, and I think they didn't hear the roach part. <laughs> um, I have to laugh because this is terrifying. This is terrifying. And I'm going to get to the story at hand because it is a real story I want to talk to. But guys, I've been promoting it heavily over on Planet, and I got to make sure you guys are alerted of it, too. I am creating a Patreon. I'm creating a Patreon because I need to know we have some income that we can rely on if YouTube does indeed shut us down and stop our voices. And the more and more I'm seeing with these strikes from these photographers abusing the system, the now I see that they human reviews on YouTube are confirming that I'm somehow harassed. This is all, this is nonsense. And it makes me scared for this platform. So I've created this Patreon as a way so you can't have, we can't be silenced. You will get alerted here. You can join for free. You'll get notifications if things go wrong. That way, at least we have another method to contact you. But more importantly, you can support financially. And guess what? Patreon only takes 5% of the revenue of the hard-earned money you give us. They only take 5%. Guess how much YouTube takes? 32%. It's insane. All that extra money will help go towards funding more programming, more series. We are working on a docu-series about Harry and Meghan that I'm so excited to uh, debut more information about soon. But uh, all this extra income and support helps us continue to grow and give you the best content and the truth. And I'm not going to let Meghan and Harry stop us from reporting on the truth. So I appreciate everybody who signed on. I'm just blown away. I keep checking and getting alerts of how many of you have been over there. But please, let's keep it going. The bigger we make this, the louder we can get. And they can't silence us anymore. And we can keep reporting on this. And again, honestly, this is where you got to come for the palace stuff. When there's a big story and the algorithm is riding, we got to ride those waves. And hopefully at some point, a big story will happen on planet. And you guys will continue to watch us there too. But eventually... If all works well, you will get all the big news here, royal, dedicated royal news here every day, regardless of what's happening on planet. And I want to make sure you guys stay tuned. And on Patreon, we're mixing all the brands. You're going to get all the content from all of us in one place. I don't want to keep charging you four different places. Patreon's the best way. You're going to get most, we'll get the most of your money and we'll be able to alert you, uh, whether it's for free, you want to just get those notifications, or if you're able to, to put up six bucks or ideally 10 bucks a month, this will get you all the epic stuff, including, yes, I know a lot of you are excited about the sticker club. At the end of the year, our next level patrons follow the rules there. We will be sending out special sticker club uh, and some new stuff I'm looking to make as a thank you to all you guys who've supported throughout the year. So get in. It's a fan club for the popcorn brands. Get in early. You guys can be the first month in and be there since the beginning. I know we have so much to come and we have a lot to report on, guys, because, yes, I am believing this. I absolutely believe this. Why? Well, if you scroll down, they post with this individual and his wife. This individual, if you're unaware, is Brian Robbins. Now, Brian Robbins is the head of Paramount Pictures. Now, there's a debate of what did did Brian want to pose with him? We here they are at the One Love premiere. Yeah, they jetted off to Jamaica with sick kids and the royal family all in tatters and, and medical operations. They decided to fly all across the globe to Jamaica and show up. And now here we see the wife does seem to smile. I don't know if it was so. See, he, Brian's leaving, but the wife is seemingly look. Maybe it was to the cameras. A lot of people suspect that Meghan and Harry just weaseled their way in here. 
and it does it is possible as you can see here they don't ever really fully fully engage megan just tries to like join in and uh now brian comes back and there's a moment he gives like a look of annoyance at a certain point yeah like and uh yeah they're posing together for that photo op now why? Why does this matter? Who is this guy? Why, why? What's the big deal? Well, it's a big deal because he runs Paramount. And Paramount has a streaming pro uh, platform called Paramount Plus. And uh, they've been having some success this past year. Uh, they had success with Top Gun uh, and uh, the, more stuff that's been brewing. But he owns like Nickelodeon, Paramount Pictures. Brian Robbins is in charge of all that. You might remember an old show back in the day called Head of the Class. Anybody else remember? Deep Cut. He was on that show too. He was an actor. Um, and so... He's, that's, he's directed some films with Eddie Murphy and other things. He's I've known about him for a while, and then he grew into a sort of a studio head, and now he's very successful, and yeah, running Paramount, which Paramount Plus, I gotta say, does actually have a few cool, interesting shows. I can't knock it fully, but it's nowhere near as successful as Netflix, and they are starting to run out of money. There's talks of it merging with other studios, but, 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 it's so clear Harry and Meghan saw this opportunity to pose with another big streamer, I mean, Harry was out there with Jeff Bezos as well. Amazon, I mean, he's not as much a working person there, but he still has sway in, on the board, et cetera. And Amazon Prime is another service. It does seem like Harry and Meghan are making sure they're out there getting snapped with all these big executives who have access and are programming these big streaming platforms. Now, I don't see why Paramount would invest in anywhere near what Netflix spent. Netflix, for the record, has the most money, has the most subscribers, has the most success. That's where every creator wants to be if they want to be on a streaming platform because Netflix is winning everything. All the studios are now licensing their old movies from their exclusive streaming platforms to try to make a little bit of extra money to keep staying afloat. Uh, and so it is not surprising. It is surprising to see Brian Robbins doing this, but it's good competition probably for him, whether he likes Harry or not. Uh, it just, you know, he's out there hobnobbing and, and Paramount released this film and, uh, take it as you will. I, I absolutely do see this as a warning shot. Uh, Megan and Harry appear to have sent Netflix a very public warning as their contract with the streaming giant is set to expire next year. There's a lot of rumors though, that it's going to end earlier. Um, they signed a lucrative deal with Netflix. A couple have produced two documentaries. Obviously one did well. They're, they're, they're other one, but Harden and Invictus did not reach the same heights. They made their first joint public appearance in 2024 in, in Jamaica for the Bob Marley One Love premiere. And uh, the couple were pictured beaming aside President CEO of Paramount Pictures, Nickelodeon, Brian Robin. Oh, it's Robin. I thought it was Robbins. It is. They spelled it wrong. Brian Robbins. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's appearance at, the, at a rival streaming giant's premiere looks to be a warning shot to Netflix that Meghan Harry will not be short of offers as a decision of whether to renew their contract looms. I mean, appearing at a red carpet does not mean they're getting offers, GB News. Uh, it is a warning shot of like, yep, we're hobnobbing with all these streamers. We're still in demand, but it's still all very phony. The Sussex are reportedly working on several projects for the platform, but none have been given a release date or promoted publicly. We'll see. Royal commenter, uh, excuse me, Richard Fitzwilliams criticized the couple's lack of output during an interview with GB News. Excuse me. <coughs> went down the wrong, my air went down the wrong throat. They can turn it all around if they come up with some work. The only thing that they are doing, as far as I can see with Invictus, Harry already had that, so they have not done anything. They lost Spotify. Will they lose Netflix? Contract runs out in 2025. It is rather bewildering their silence. 100%. You'd think if they really had so much going on, they'd be announcing it and wanting it out there. Um, and yeah, that, that, uh, oh, wait, there was a little bit more. The couple's deals, we know all this. This is just always recapping all this stuff we know. Now, this photo, also quite interesting and i did my morning video over on planet exposing this because to me this is another warning shot a warning shot to try to end the monarchy and i did a whole video on how this is war i think this is a war shot and i think this is going to extend even bigger and this was a huge fu to the to the king uh and i'm still kind of shook by it so they showed up why'd they go across the globe to this jamaica bob marley premiere opportunity to pose with this to take a shot at the king and an opportunity to pose with them to take a shot at netflix these two don't do anything unless there's a benefit to them they are calculated i've learned this through all you thank you i see it now and for them these are the two big photos that are everywhere not the ones with him with ziggy marley or other no the ones with brian robbins the one with the prime minister of jamaica those are getting all the headlines 
And that's ultimately why they showed up. That was the, the price. That, that was the reason for the business expense because they are out there taking warning shots to their streamer, to their dad, to their to the old country. They are not backing down. They are not staying quiet. They are not going to go hide off and say, we want privacy. No, they're out there wanting all the attention in the world and they want everybody to see it. And I see through you too. I know what you're doing. This is despicable in my opinion. Uh, that's what I think. What do you guys think? Do you, do you agree? I mean, I don't think for a second Paramount Plus is going to offer them a deal. And if they did, it would be nowhere near the, the height of the, you know, the, the, the size of what Netflix offered. No chance. No one's ever going to offer them that something that high again, because they just don't, they, they, we've proven even his book, which you got a huge, uh, uh, upfront payment for didn't actually deliver as much as they needed. Everyone over exaggerated and overthought this. Uh, they're in trouble. Paramount, Brian Robbins, don't take the bait. Hopefully you're just using this to try to make Netflix uh, feel stressed. I don't know, or make them debate it. I can see some reasons why he would do it, but I don't think he's making a deal. I'd be shocked if he does. And if he does, if they somehow wooed him or Jeff Bezos, Oh my goodness, the Dastardly Duo will continue to live another day. So we'll see. What do you guys think? I want to hear your theories. And guys, again, I can't stress it enough. If you can help, please head on over to our Popcorn Patreon. Help us make sure we don't feel so shackled to this platform. We're not leaving YouTube. I can't afford to leave YouTube. The SEO here is too strong. We got to still keep the, the videos going here. So we'll always be here on YouTube if they'll keep us. But in case they don't, or in case they keep limiting us, or in case Mark the Markles keep trying to do something, uh, you'll have another opportunity to get alerted, and you're going to get amazing exclusive content. We're doing extra content. Steph and I will be delivering even more for you there, so stay tuned. I hope we can get your support. I'm so grateful for all you guys have, and it's my goal this year to deliver better quality content, more amazing content, and even more truth. Who's with me? I want to hear your thoughts. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Did I press it already? Hit the bell for alerts. Smash the like button. Leave your comments and hit the Patreon. In fact, I'm going to put the Patreon right there and right below it. I'll put that Popcorn Planet video so you can watch it. Click on any of those for information. Thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned. Who joined already? Tell us in the comments below as well. Thanks, everybody.